hello students today we are going to learn instrument transformer as we know that measurement of current and voltage of a high power is very difficult in today life because rating of ammeter and voltage is, voltmeter is not designed like that that we can measure high current and high voltage so that we require transformer to measure the high voltage and high current instrument transformer it is a measuring instruments which measures over current or under voltage or over voltage in the power system it also protects the circuits of all power systems equipment uh, like uh, um, uh, alternator generator which is connected to the load as we know that load is fluctuating in today life then it will affect power system all equipment which is connected to the load so it also protects our power plant instrument instrument transformer basically divided into two parts as current transformer and potential transformer as name specifies current transformer is used to measure current and potential transformer is used to measure voltage here is the circuit diagrams or constructions of current transformer which has primary number of turns is approx equals to 1 or 2 and secondary has many number of turns which reduces the current in the secondary winding and which is connected to our ammeter or it is also called burden on ct which is ammeter or relay which measures the current in the secondary winding and it is load it is the uh, construction of potential transformer which has primary number of turns and secondary number of turns there are many number of primary turns and secondary turns as we know the relations that is n1 upon n2 equals to v1 upon v2 if we have less number of turns then voltage is reduced in the secondary and then we can measure secondary voltage which is equivalent to primary voltage it has many advantages first one is isolation instrument transformer isolates the load circuit and source circuit if we have high voltage in the primary side and low voltage in the secondary side so it uh, as we know uh, transformer is not electrically connected then it isolates primary and secondary side so that um, human working on the secondary side may affect from fault second advantage is that it can uh, operate several instruments with a single instrument transformer it also has low power consumption as we also know that transformer has very high efficiency it measure large magnitudes of voltage and current now we come to the topic that is current transformer here is construction of current transformer primary supply is given to the load and number of turn, it is a ct which has primary winding and secondary winding we are seeing that primary winding has only number of turns is approx 1 and secondary has many number of turns and it is connected to a burden or ammeter or relay it is known as and it measures the prime secondary current which is related with the a uh, primary current which as we also know that n1 upon n2 equals to v1 upon v2 equals to I two upon I one, which measures current related with the primary. There are many terminology used in the current transformer. First one is transformation ratio. It is defined as the primary phasor current to the secondary phasor current. Second one is your nominal ratio. It is also defined as the rated primary winding current to the rated secondary winding current. Turns ratio, as we know, turns ratio is uh, denoted by a small n, and it is equals to n two upon n one, which is actual number of turns in the secondary and in the primary winding. Now come to the equivalent circuit of CT. It is the equivalent circuit which has number of turns in the primary is defined as which is combination of resistance and inductance, and then a parallel combination of Uh, core parameters that is RC and X, R uh, it is RC and XM. It is also you have a study earlier in your electrical machine one or um, in the topic 
transformer and it has secondary equivalent circuit which has uh, um, secondary resistance and secondary inductance and it is your burden on the CT which measures the current. Now it is here is a or no load current or exciting current which produces your magnetic flux as you already know the basic principles of the transformer which is also applicable for CT. It is the phasor diagram which you have studied earlier in your electrical machine transformer. Here is your secondary induced EMF that is ES. Here is your secondary voltage. Here is your secondary voltage and IS is your secondary current. IS. VS as we will write KVL in this equation then ES equals to VS plus is rs plus j xs which has resultant es equals to vs plus is rs plus js xs then phi is your primary induced flux and uh, in phase with your i mu which is also in your um, derived in your transformer topic and i naught is your exciting current which has magnetizing current and Now we um, plot the um, input current that is I which has a phasor of I naught exciting current and the secondary current referred to the primary side N into Is. Here is your I naught which is exciting current phasor with your I mu and I w and I is your input current which is phasor of I naught and N I S which we will draw parallelogram and then resultant of I. Now there are two types of errors in current transformer. First one is your ratio error and second is your phase error. Ratio error is defined as the Ratio error is defined as the ratio error. It is also denoted by sigma. Defi defined as the nominal ratio minus actual ratio upon actual ratio. And if we find percentage error, then it is multiplied by and it is in percentage. From the equivalent circuit, we know that I is equals to I naught plus N I S. And R is already um, defined as phasor of I P upon I S. And this I is also primary current I P. Here is I P. Then we will put the value of I P I naught plus N I S upon I S. Then it is N plus I naught upon I S which is not exactly equal to IP upon IS. Here ratio error has occurred in the CT transformer. We will derive the equations. Now phase angle error theta. The phase angle by which the secondary current phasor when reversed referred to in the primary current phasor and it is denoted by theta. Phase angle error. It is denoted by theta. Now calculation of ratio and phase angle error of a city. 